Hello and welcome to Peggy's Plants, coming to you from Central Florida. Today I'd like to take you with me on a very quick trip to Walmart Garden Center. And it doesn't look like they've got been restocked. It's looking a little skimpy. And let's see, I think this is a Peperomia. I'm not real into Peperomias, but this one is really cool. Look, do you see all of this water? That's never a good sign. Yes, we've had some rain, but these have cash posts, so they should know that. Not good. Look at these. <laughs> These are so ridiculous and so cute at the same time. And they scream summer. That orange is just really popping. $10, add that to your garden for some whimsy. Very cute, very cute. <laughs> I love it. And let's take a look. I'm just trying to see what I see that is not always here. And they have the regulars, the corn plants, some palm, sago palm. They don't always have these aglionemas. This is pretty. And Dracaena, you can always find these everywhere here. Um, this one is in really good shape. I love the colors. Look at the red in there. And they have this kiwi or lemon lime one. And Monstera Deliciosa. What's the price? $12. That's why I say do not go out here and spend a lot of money on a Monstera Deliciosa because the big box stores have them. And this ginger is nice looking. I love this yellow and green variegation. $11. That's an excellent price. And I'm pretty sure that that is lower than I've seen them at Home Depot and Lowe's. So Walmart really comes in with the low price a lot of times. $17 for this fiddly fig. I'm keeping it moving. Over here we have some Costa Farms plants. Look at these Peperomia raindrops. These are really nice looking. Um, let's see if I can find a price on there for you. It's not on the bottom. This one doesn't appear to be marked, but the leaves on these things are monsters. Yeah, I've killed one of these already and it wasn't in nearly as good a shape as this. $17. The one I got before had much smaller leaves. I'm so tempted to get another one of these. Look at this. Really nice looking. And begonia. Really liking these raindrop peperomias though. Oh, and look at this. Isn't this the cutest? And look at the, fez the fuzzy petioles and the bright red, $3. Cheaper than at Lowe's and Home Depot. And this is, I love this begonia. And we have more um, begonias over here. Look at the standing water in these pots. This is not a good sign. And always look out for stuff like that so you know what to check if you buy. More begonias. These are really pretty. These are the angel wing begonias. They're easier to grow. Look at this Tratis Tratiscantia. I don't know if this is Costa Farms. I don't know. It's not. It's a, oh, look at all of this water. Not a good sign. Eh, that's it. And let's see what I bought. I absolutely could not resist the Peperomia raindrop. This is an excellent shape. It's a nice full plant. The leaves on this thing are huge. And like I said, I've had one of these before and I killed it. I mean, within a few weeks, it was almost bare naked. So I'm going to give it a try. My mom was with me on this shopping trip. She's visiting. She bought this for me. She told me to go ahead, give it another try. So I really have to keep this one alive since my mom got it for me just look at these leaves but I've since learned since the last time I had one of these they like a lot of a lot of bright light so I'm gonna make sure it gets that but um, and look at this some new growth on here yeah this plant is just looking better and better so this is the first plant that I got and since the last one didn't get enough light where I was keeping it, I decided to put this one right over here 
in front of this window. It won't get any direct sunlight, but it will get bright light throughout the day. And hopefully you'll be happy here, but I'm gonna be watching this plant like a hawk and I'm gonna do everything that I can to keep it alive. If you have this plant and you have any tips for me, feel free to leave them down in the comments. All tips welcome. So let's get on to the second plant. You probably already know what it is. Yes, for $2.94, how in the world could I pass up this Rex Begonia? This is my first Rex Begonia. I have only done angel wing begonias in the past. Look at these colors. This plant is amazing. The red veining against the, the green, oh my goodness. I put this plant down since I don't know what how to care for it and I picked it right on back up. And then it had the nerve to have these really bright fuzzy petioles. I had to get this plant. Absolutely amazing. And like I said, this is my first Rex Begonia. So I, all I really know about them is they like high humidity. So I think what I'm going to do is probably put this one outside for now. And that's exactly what I decided to do. This is in the back of my house, in the screen room, on a plant shelf. I decided to put this begonia out there and that way it'll get plenty of humidity without me having to fuss over it since I'm not running a humidifier in the house right now. And it gets colder here so it'll go inside for the winter. And that was it, my quick Walmart trip. Thanks for coming along. Take care, bye-bye.